What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Shop here and I'm coming at you with another video that's a rant, a rave, a talk, a discussion, a ramble, a vent, a predicament about America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Before I get started, if you guys could please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn that bell notification on. That way you guys are notified every single time I upload a video. If you can do that, please and thank you. So on to America's team. So. The predicament, as you can tell by the title, is Dak Prescott's contract. And uh, bringing a little light into this conversation. And it's not what a lot of people think it is. Um, it's not the money that's the issue. Uh, Dak is totally fine and the Cowboys are totally fine. They're, they've mutually agreed that the 35 mil a year that he wants is obtainable, it's doable, financially the Cowboys can do it. And that's not the problem. Most people are like, oh, well Dak's just being greedy, he wants more money, he wants, you know, $40 million a year, he wants this, he wants that. Yeah, he he wants 35, which is a lot. It'll make him the highest paid quarterback at the moment. And I believe that uh, Patrick Mahomes is eventually gonna get 40, maybe 40 plus a year, eventually. But it will make Dak the highest paid quarterback in the league. But the, 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 the difference between Dak and freaking Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes has done shit. Like Patrick Mahomes has won a Super Bowl. He's taken the team to a Super Bowl and won in fantastic, amazing fashion. Uh, Dak, yeah, has a couple of playoff victories. Um, but the, uh, to quote the Who song, uh, I won't get fooled again, meet the new boss, same as the old boss, because that's what Tony Romo did for us, is Tony Romo could win one or two playoff games, and that's it. Couldn't get any further than one or two playoff games, and then you eventually just have a damn good regular season quarterback, and a quarterback that, you know, hasn't found his stride in the, the playoffs, which... Okay, I mean, I kind of get that. But, on the other hand, what other choice do we have? Yeah, I know a lot of people are going to comment right now, Cam Newton. Cam Newton, yes, is a good quarterback, but honestly, with his injury background, you know, with his back, his leg, his knee, his neck, his head, his everything, because he's put his body on the line more than he's needed to in his career, would you rather have him... Or would you rather have a quarterback in Dak Prescott that hasn't been injured at all? Uh, I think he had a small injury, I think, uh, last year against the Bears. Like a minor, minor, minor injury. Wasn't enough for him to lose games or anything like that. But Dak doesn't get hurt. And that is something that the Cowboys are clamoring for because Romo got hurt all the time. At one point, it was Romo's guaranteed to miss a couple of games every year because of a broken pinky or a punctured lung or a uh, slipped disc in his spine or whatever. You name it, Romo's had it. And Dak, luckily, knock on glass, save your ass, has had minimal injuries, unlike somebody else in the division named Carson Wentz, who everybody puts him on a pedestal, but Dak is nothing compared to him, and that just irritates the ever-living shit out of me. But you know what? That's a different topic for a different time. This is about Dakota Rain Prescott. So, the issue is years on the contract. Dak wants four, and the Cowboys want no less than five years. And... I don't know why Dak is pushing so hard for four years. Um, I think that might be because the NFLPA is uh, getting renewed, I think, in the next few years, and that means the salary caps are going to double, and maybe Dak and his uh, agents know that, so they're like, well, we, we can have a contract, and then we can just renew it whenever the new NFLPA happens. Um, that's what I think the problem is, because Dak knows that, oh, I might make double of what I actually can make right now, but if I do that, the five years, then I, that potentially probably screws me over in the pocket in the long run, and so that's just what I think is the issue, I don't know, uh, I don't even begin to fathom what goes on behind closed doors in 
the uh, Palace in Dallas, Jerry World. But, I mean, if I had to assume, I think that's the, probably the issue. Um, I did. I'm just a Joe Blow Dallas Cowboys fan that makes these videos just for fun. I'm not an expert. I'm not a uh, Adam Schefter. I'm not a, uh, you know, Mel Kiper or, you know, even though he only does like draft stocks and shit. But I'm just a Cowboys fan that really loves this team and comes on here and I talk passionately about my favorite sports team and that is America's team. So, is Dak being greedy? Are the Cowboys playing it safe? What do you think the issue is? Let me know down below. I'm really interested in hearing y'all's comments and y'all's feedback. Um, so, uh, until then, guys, thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little piglets, Colin Porkchop, loves y'all the most. So, y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys! Say it with me, everybody. How about them Cowboys? Get this freaking contract done! Now! <laughs>